Hi friends, it's Monica and today I have another Unplugged Book Box unboxing. So I do have another Unplugged Book Box. I am repping for um, Unplugged for another three months for the summer term. And this one is the Young Adult May Box. So what Unplugged is known for is for their self-care items and they also curate a unique book selection either for young adult or adult books so let's just get right into it the theme for this month was imagination the young adult 2021 box for me and this is the spoiler card so i will be referring back to this so this first item that we have here is from fair and brooch gardens it's iced tea lemonade and it says here on that label always and forever larging Lara Jean Sweet Iced Tea Lemonade Made by Love for Peter Kavinsky. So this one really sounds perfect for a nice summer day. You have your lemonade, you could sit by the pool if you have one. I don't have one, but that's the image I get. The next item I'm really excited for, it's an umbrella. So I'm gonna have to like back up and show you the from the separate footage what it looks like, but we have a lot of nice yellow casing. I think it's a really decent sized umbrella. So this umbrella is inspired by Anne of Green Gables and it's designed by Nathana Erica and on Instagram she's at the art of Nathana Erica and I'm showing separate footage right now so you could see it properly but it's a really decent sized umbrella. <laughs> so I'm really happy about this umbrella because of course with spring comes with a lot of rain so this umbrella would be really handy so we have a bunch of crinkly paper the next item that i see comes in this little green pouch so this is a shower and bath gel from petrature inc it's an unplugged exclusive it's inspired by strange the dreamer character sparrow and with the scents rose cake light and sweetness and i'm just gonna smell it oh well it smells really good fresh and light and i could never get enough bath products so this is again really handy and fits in with that self-care theme that i love about unplugged okay so the next item that i see here is actually a pin i'm just gonna take it out of the package this pin is in collaboration with alicia's world and this pin is of smog the dragon from the hobbit so if you didn't know this about me i actually love having enamel pins and this one is a great addition to my collection and it's so pretty so really really happy about that the next item here i think is a bath bomb so i do think this one is bookish neutral i think there's no fandom associated with this one it does say an unplugged exclusive bubble bar scoop afternoon at the bookstore and the fragrance is books and tea and it's by bubbly confectionaries and that's how it looks like just like a small little bath bomb a bubble scoop i'm not sure what a bubble scoop is but i'm assuming that's a bath bomb <laughs> still have more items and the next one i have here is a lip balm so this lip balm is inspired by maya tamarin from the spin the dawn duology by elizabeth lim lip balm is an unplugged exclusive and the scents are raspberry and thread and i'm just gonna open it up so i can smell it the scent is really faint, but I don't really like having my lip balms having strong scents. So I do think I'll get good use for this because I hate having dry lips. So it always nice to have a nice lip balm. So I think this is almost the last item before we get to the book. And this one is inspired by an ember in the ashes. It says, always victorious on top. And this is a soy candle by Natural Pure Honest and the label is designed by at lie underscore bury on Instagram and that's how it looks like it's like a little smiley face and it smells really citrusy I smell orange maybe a bit of fire smoke I love having candles even though I really don't burn the pretty ones so I'm a candle hoarder the next thing I see in here is I think a little sneak peek of the book Fins by Randy Wayne White. You could pause and read the description 
to learn more about what this little sneak peek is about. It's really interesting. I think it's about saving sharks from poachers. And we're following a marine biologist and three kids. Before we get to the book, we do have uh, the monthly journal prompts. Finally, we have our book wrapped in this purple wrapping paper. <gasps> oh, it's actually one of my most anticipated books. Wow, okay, so the book for May is The Ones We're Meant to Find by Joan He. Look at that cover, it's so pretty. It's like this nice end paper art. We also get this author letter. And also it comes with a signed book plate. So I'm going to read out the description. It's been three years and 17 days since C woke up on the shore of an abandoned island. She has no idea how she came to be marooned or what her life was like before. She has only the rickety house by the sea, the android she built for company, and a single memory. Somewhere beyond the horizon, she has a sister, and it's up to C to escape the island and find her. A world away, 16-year-old STEM prodigy Casey is also looking to escape. From the science she once believed in and from her home. The eco-cities, Earth's last unpolluted habitats, are meant to be a sanctuary for those from deserving lineages, for those committed to planetary protection. But instead, they're populated by people willing to do anything for refuge, even lie. After a series of man-made disasters rock the planet, Casey must decide if she's ready to use science to help humanity, even though it failed the people who mattered most to her. From Joan He, the critically acclaimed author, Descendant of the Crane, comes a stunning science fiction novel with mind-blowing twists. Ooh. And I have not read her first book, uh, Descendant of the Crane, but I know that book title. I've heard of it, but I still have not read it. I just think that this book will be really good. It's a science fiction book, and I don't really read a lot of science fiction, but my eye is drawn to this cover, and I really cannot wait to get to this one. And one more last thing is the themes for June. So first we have is Destiny for the Adult Box and Hypnotic for the Young, young Adult Box. And on the other side, we have Sneak Peeks of Fandom. So we have an item inspired by the Song of Achilles for the adult box and then Aristotle and Dante for the YA box. So look out for that. The June boxes are on sale right now and I believe they're really limited quantities now. So if you do wish to purchase one, I do have rep code. I'll put that on the screen right now. Overall, I'm just really, really happy with all the items in this box and I hope you will check them out check out unplugged they're really great at curating items that are useful and promote self-care so i think my favorite items in this box were the enamel pin of smog and the umbrella inspired by Anne of green gables i really love the artwork on the umbrella art by nathana erica and i just love enamel pins in general so those are my two favorite items so comment down below what was your favorite item in this box and i think that's it for now Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give me a big thumbs up, and hit that notification bell to not miss any future uploads. I will see you guys soon.